Hi, I'm Jason, and in this short tutorial I thought I'd share a great way of creating your own IP webcam out of what you already have at home. For those of you who wonder what an IP webcam is or does, let me briefly explain. With an IP webcam, and the IP bit stands for Internet Protocol by the way, you can position a camera anywhere in your house, garage or garden, as long as it's protected from the elements of course, in order to be able to view it remotely from your computer. So it's a bit like CCTV. And I'll be showing you how to do this from an Android device. Why, I hear you ask? Because generally most of us have an Android device laying around, whether it's a phone or a pad. And the best thing of all is it's free. But one thing the Android device does need to have is a camera. So for this demonstration I'll be using my Nexus 7 tablet. So let's go over to the Android tablet. So here we are on the Nexus 7 Android tablet. And to do away with the shaky video and fingers swiping around and getting in the way, I've emulated the Android tablet onto my PC screen because it's clearer for you guys to see it. If you want to know how I got my Android device onto my PC screen like this, let me know, subscribe and I'll make a separate video on it. Although there is a telltale sign of how I did this in the watermark that you can see down here. Anyway. The first thing to do is to go to the Google Play Store on the tablet. Under Apps and then in my search box here I'm going to type IP Webcam. Here it is, so let's install it. When it's installed, we can just open it up from here. Or if you prefer, let's go and have a look and find out where it's installed it on the tablet. Here it is, so let's start it up. So the first thing we are met with is a whole list of settings that we can play with. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but I think it's just worth taking a look at the video preferences at the top of the list here. So you've got video recording methods which allow you to record in specific chunk sizes, etc. We have video resolution which may be good to look at for quality purposes. And we have overall quality settings here which we can adjust with the slider. So have a look around and see what you can do. I'm going to go back here and then scroll all the way to the bottom and select Start Server. And as you can see this starts up our webcam and gives us an important option up here at the top left with the heading How do I connect? So let's select it. We now have two further options for using the mobile internet connection or for using your Wi-Fi router. Well, I'm going to be using my Wi-Fi router to make the webcam connection back to my PC, so I'll select Wi-Fi router. It now shows me the information that I need in order to connect to my Android tablet and be able to see the same images as my tablet through my computer. So I need to make a note of this line here. OK, I'm just going to position my tablet in another room and then switch back to my computer. So here we are back on our computer. So let's open up an internet browser window and type in the IP address details that we made a note of earlier. And we press enter. And now we can see this web page. So here's the cool thing. If I click on browser up here under video renderer I now get to see through my Android tablet's webcam remotely. And the fun doesn't stop there. I can also record what I see by adding a label here and clicking the record button here if I wish to. So what would you use this for, I hear you ask? Well, my wife asked me if we still had our baby monitor as a friend of hers had asked. So I replied, no, we got rid of them on eBay years ago and rather than pay £60 or $100 for a new one, they probably already had the technology to make their own baby monitor using this very method that I've just shown you. 
And the other thing that I've used my webcam for on my tablet in this method is to monitor the behaviour of our puppies when we're out. Come to think of it, it does seem a bit too quiet. I wonder what those puppies are up to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.